Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited to be here with you this morning. I am a little jealous. Whoever is in Sacramento with a little drizzle, I was hoping we would get a little drizzle or a little bit of rain here in um, the Bay Area as well. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So my name is Karen. I'm your facilitator this morning. I'm coming to you right side, outside of San Francisco and San Rafael and Marin County. And in the chat today is the wonderful, amazing Jen O. She's popping on camera, giving you guys a wave. She is such a great stage manager. She's going to be in there helping and supporting you as we move through our setup this morning. Is there anyone that this is their very first social this morning? Is there anyone? This is your very first. Oh, welcome, welcome, Lashana. Lynn, same for you. Great. So I'll take care of a little bit of housekeeping with that. This is a cameras off event. I'm the only one who has to be on camera. Cassandra, welcome. Welcome to all of you. This is an amazing journey. But I was always saying the cameras are off. You can interact as much or as little in the chat as you want. Definitely get ready to take some screenshots. It might be a little overwhelming the first time you host a so or you attend a social. Feel free to just watch and learn and take notes if that is what it is that resonates with you. If you love to make yours beautiful and you are someone who loves to scrapbook and pull out your stickers and such, you may not get everything done during the time of this hour. If you are someone like me who just scribbles onto theirs with one color ink, you can absolutely get it done during this time period. So it really just depends on your style. Um, also a little bit of that housekeeping, make sure the chat is set to everyone that makes sure that we interact together. If it goes to host and panelists, Jen and I are the only ones who can see it. So if you need something, that is a good way for us to be able to support you. But if you're like, why is no one commenting? That may be the issue is that your um, setting has reverted back to host and panelists. I think that happens a lot if you're on a phone or an iPad. So I'm excited to be here with you this morning, and I want to give you a little bit of grounding this morning. Please don't bottle up the best parts of yourself to make other people happy or comfortable, and I just thought that is a beautiful way to start the week. It is okay for us to want the sun and the moon and the stars. It is okay for us to be our absolute best version of ourselves. Is everyone going to like it? No. Are they going to judge? Yes, but they're judging you anyway, honey. So might as well shine like the star that you are. I love this one too. The moon taught me it's okay to go through phases. And I am definitely going through a new phase right now. And then I love this one. The sun taught me no matter how many times you go down, keep rising. So maybe right now has been a bit of a struggle for you. Maybe this month has not been as tranquil as you would like. We at Saunders in Silk and Saunders really do believe that fresh starts happen each day, each week, each month. So it is a new week. It is a new day. So go ahead and shine like the star that you are. Oh, I'm so glad that resonated with you guys today. <sighs> All right. So I admit that tranquility has been difficult for me too as a theme. Um, the first week wasn't great for me. Second week was awesome. I kept up with my daily rituals and my journal and all my habits went awesome. And then last week, all things went to H-E double hockey stick. So I'm looking forward to that new start as well. Before we dive in, let's go into our guidelines. Um, make sure you are kind to yourself and others. I, I don't want you to talk nasty to yourself. You don't talk to my friend that way, right? So any kind of self-talk that you have today, if you catch yourself being negative, stop and reframe. No promotions or spam. Respect everyone's privacy. What happens in Sonder Club stays in Sonder Club, even if you know someone outside of Sonder Club. Obviously no hate speech or bullying. Um, limit repetitive product and accessory questions. Um, if you have any issues, email customer service inquiries at hello at silkandsonder.com. Jen and I don't work for headquarters. We don't have access to your account, so we can't help, unfortunately. And then the most important, Sonder Socials are a tool to help elevate your emotional health through the power of community, but you are responsible for your emotions, well-being, and decisions. What does that mean? 
sometimes some of these can get kind of deep and it can get a little uncomfortable, not so much at the weekly socials, but a lot of times at the journaling. If something doesn't sit right with you that day or today, it is absolutely okay for you not to journal on it at that moment. Turn to your color page, participate in the chat, listen to the music, move towards something else. And you never know, you may be in the shower or taking a walk one day and it seems like, oh yeah, I'm ready to journal on that. But if you are not, and that's not the space you are in, that is absolutely okay. You do not have to fill out every page in your journal ever. I've done this for a couple of years now and I've never filled every page out. So I want you to just realize, use what is useful to you and what doesn't work for you at this phase in your life, like that moon. Don't fill it out. It's okay. I'm not going to come to your house and look at your journal and see it's all filled out. Nobody is. This is a tool for you that should make you happy and should never make you feel guilty. Went too, too many this morning. Got a little crazy with my mouse. So this morning, we're going to do our tranquility mind map, our rosebud thorn. We're going to set up our week and then we will close out and we will be ready to slay the day. Our tranquility mind map, if you are brand new to us, this is not in your journal. The only place you're going to find these journal prompts are when you attend a weekly social. They can be done on a notes page. They can be done on your quote page on page 38, your definition page on page three, a scratch piece of your scratch pad in your weekly setup, sticky notes, or if you're repurposing, you can absolutely do that as well. So any of those things are absolutely fine. These are a couple examples of this month of way other Sonder people have um, sat with these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I really love these. Oop. My computer's running a little slow this morning. I think it knows it's a Monday. So week one of this month, it was kind of a hybrid of last month's theme of acceptance. And it was all about our thoughts. Second week was all about our emotions and feelings. Being active was last week and we talked about moving our body or being active to be able to help uh, lessen anxiety and to help us feel more tranquil. Today is more of the traditional way that you usually think of tranquil. How can you slow down in your life to help you feel a sense of tranquility? So I found the most beautiful blog that Jen's going to throw into the chat. They even have a social media detox journal that you can print out for free. But if you were wondering or thinking about ways that might be good to slow down to help bring that tranquility, here are some ideas before you journal. Maybe be more mindful of your actions and slow them down. Build a slow morning routine, not a hectic one. Practicing gratitude in your gratitude journal. Setting daily intentions instead of goals. Simply do less. Don't overload the to-do list Focus to three to five things a day. Practice mindfulness, disconnect, and pause regularly. So for me, slowing down is getting outside, walking my dog on the daily, trying to get those steps in, and kind of taking a few deep breaths. I love my Calm app. I don't do as often as I want to. And then also taking that time to do the daily rituals also really helps me slow down a little bit. So I am going to put the slide back up and give you guys some time to work. I will tell you, I use some meditative music on Saturday, but I thought if I played that playlist this morning on an early Monday morning, you might fall asleep. So you're going to see that my playlist is a little different today and it definitely has a vibe.
I, I saw yoga. I saw letter writing. I also saw things like slowing down gardening, taking those earphones out. I love that. Love on that my animals. That one is definitely for me as well. Self-care in general. Um, bike rides, even though it's active, it's kind of like my walking. It definitely can be crafting. Maybe you love to, I think I saw someone like to knit or crochet. I do challenge you though, this week to actually schedule some time to do some of these things to slow down. If you are someone who utilizes your weekly spread, your calendar, go ahead and take a moment right now and write it down. If you're someone who uses a online calendar, set a time. Maybe it's in the evening after dinner, or maybe it's waking up 20 minutes early to spend 20 minutes knitting. Put that into your phone. Take the time to actually schedule slowing down. Julia, that timer can absolutely be gold. I'm not going to lie. It definitely helps me. Rosebud Thorn is absolutely one of our favorite activities at Silk and Saunders. The rose is a highlight, a bud is an emerging opportunity, and a thorn is just what it sounds like. This is going to be on page 44, looking at reflecting on last week. So for me, one of the roses that I have is that this week was my 20th anniversary a couple of weeks ago, and my husband bought me a galaxy diamond ring. It's kind of hard to be able to see, but it finally came in, and so I was very excited about that. A bud is an emerging opportunity. So for me, I told you I was going through a phase right now. I am leaving the studio I'm currently teaching at, and I'm working with a partner to be able to, and hopefully the next couple of months, to open our own wellness place that will have Pilates fitness classes as well as health coaching. So that is definitely an emerging opportunity. Thank you so much. It's going to be crazy. Um, but I think it's time. It's time to have something of my own. I feel like Silk and Saunders has given me the confidence to be able to take that risk that three years ago, I never would have taken. A thorn is something that didn't go so well. And I got a bad, it was, it was a four-star review. So it wasn't absolutely horrible, but someone didn't like the style of the class that I teach. And I feel like it's just, she's used to classical Pilates, not athletic Pilates. Um, and so she kind of, even though it was a woman, kind of mansplained to me where Pilates came from. And I didn't really enjoy it because I'm a nationally certified teacher and we choose to teach in a certain format, um, which is a quicker pace than classical. And I love classical too. And I actually go to a different studio to practice that. But yeah, it kind of didn't make me feel great. So that was my thorn. So I'm going to go off camera, play some music and let us know, share as much or as little as you'd like in that chat. We want to support you through the good and some of those thorns.
Thank you so much for sharing and reflecting. You know, life has those goods, those highs and those lows, yin to the yang. And we wouldn't appreciate the good if we don't have the bad too. I appreciate you reflecting. And those of you that have had a hard time or struggling with loved ones with medical issues or um, are grieving or supporting someone who's grieving, we are holding space for you. Let us support you. We're going to dig into our, oh gosh, my computer setup isn't the same as usual. And so things are not working quite as well. That's why I'm closer up in the face too. We're going to dig into our weekly planner. So we are on page 46. If you were brand new, I'm not going to read through these, but I definitely would take a screenshot of this if you are someone who likes to change things because some of the things do not work for you. For me, I use my journal 99% exactly as it was written. So I don't necessarily repurpose, but this is your journal. You can definitely do it the way you want to be able to do it. So take a screenshot of this if you want, because any section in the journal, these can be repurposed as. Now I'm going to share some examples of them, and then I'm going to break it down into smaller pieces and give you time to work. That Tada bingo is absolutely gorgeous. Silk and Saunders definitely loves a good bingo. This is a Tada bingo of the things that she was able to accomplish this week. I don't know if that's scrapbook paper or stickers, but that with the washi tape is just absolutely beautiful. I love that she made little hearts at the bottom of when she did it. A little bit of self-love right there. And I love how she wanted to feel. She just threw a sticker on there. Um, love also on the right-hand side, she wants to feel grateful. She wants to get outside, move my body, disconnect to be able to connect. I also notice that in her habit section, she only has three. So really look at your week, especially I saw we have a school teacher who's about to go back. There's a lot going on your to-do list, maybe really big. Even if you're getting a kid ready to go back to school or to college or whatever, maybe this isn't the week to start a new habit. So maybe it's the week to be able to keep two or three things that you're already doing and just be able to keep up on those. Also notice at the top of the right-hand side that they have coded their calendar. So I like that as well. And I love the Meg B stickers from Etsy. They're so pretty. Gosh. Okay, this person wants to feel tranquil. They are leaning into the theme. They have a mind, body, and spirit goal. I love that idea. And their um, habits and their goals support how they want to feel as being tranquil. The right-hand side, that geometric pattern for to do's is just absolutely so fun. And then I love keep it simple and satisfying. My parents were birthday party clowns and they always said, keep it simple, stupid. And not the nicest way. Satisfying, I think, is a nicer way to be able to say that. And then also I love at the bottom their fruits and vegetables. They split it up so that they're coloring in when they eat them. So they get their five servings. So cute. I love the need, want, and hope for the um, to-dos here. They want to feel, feel inspired and hopeful. And I also love, read all the books in 10,000 steps. I recently am trying to get those 10,000 steps in yesterday too. My husband looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about 200 steps away. So I'm like pacing and going up and down the stairs a couple of times. Do what you got to do, right? Over on the right-hand side, love the graphic organizer. Oh, Mary, thank you so much for sharing. Your handwriting is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the way you've done kind of that Venn diagram there, which is something I haven't seen in a journal before. So I really appreciate you posting that in Sonder Club. This week, I want to feel... I do not want, I'm not going to play a song on this one. I'm going to let you just type it in and write it in your journal. But I do love this feelings wheel for dogs. I love this so much. If you're a fan of Gretchen Rubin and maybe you watch the fireside chat with Meha, our founder and Gretchen Rubin. I'm a, I've been a big fan of her podcast for years. And she talked about sometimes we need to treat ourselves as our pet. Like, what is it that they need? Are you hungry? Do you need sleep? And for me, definitely, sometimes I feel snuggly. Sometimes I feel barky. Sometimes I feel growly. So yeah, growly and zoomy. Sometimes I do feel zoomy. I'm not sure that's this morning, but some days I do feel zoomy. So in the chat, let us know how it is that you want to feel. 
Cheryl wants to feel full of grace. Katrina, happiness comes in waves. I'm hoping that that wave is happiness for you this week. Regina wants to feel like herself. Serenity, Mary. I love that. It really aligns with tranquil, perky type. <laughs> I love that. Um, I just need to feel like a person. That's okay. Treats. Sometimes we need to treat ourselves, Joe. You know? It's all okay. We're going to dig into our goals next. If you are someone who does not follow Silk and Saunders and you are on Instagram, you are definitely missing out. This graphic at the bottom, small ways to be productive, is from the actual Instagram feed. So maybe this will inspire some of your goals. And then, you know, I love a good quote, be brave and have courage to grow something new. And most of all, keep blooming. That one really speaks to me as I'm embarking on a change in my life as we go. If you are looking at your intentions, that is so smart. If you have not looked at your um, monthly habits or intentions since you filled it out, this is your reminder to do so. Sometimes we get off track and we still have a week left in August. So there is nothing wrong with going back into those intentions and bringing them to the forefront of your mind and your goals or your habits or both. Going through the lens of tranquility could be a way that you set your goal. It could be a no goal, like no doom scrolling or no looking at the phone first thing in the morning or night. You know, and I were talking about that and the struggle in the morning to double check. Because sometimes if you don't look at the phone, then you're stressed because you're like, did someone need something? Is there, you know, an emergency? So trying to come up with a plan for that of like, maybe you look at the phone and then you don't get on social media. Um, looking at some outstanding goals from a previous week or month, or it could be a challenge. I am in a life coaching group, not as a facilitator, but as a participant, and they are doing a week of calm this week. And so that is my challenge to try to keep up with that calm work, which I'm so excited because that leans into tranquility. So I'm hoping next week I can bring some of those tidbits to you. So I'm going to give you some time to be able to work on your goals.
oh, I hate when I have to cut the music like that. I thought the song was two minutes. I was going to give you like five minutes to work, but otherwise we would not get through everything if I kept going with that song because it was a long one. We go, oh gosh, hold on. We're heading into our weekly to-dos. There we go. And I love this quote. If you had it all figured out today, there would be nothing to learn tomorrow. Enjoy being a work in progress. You know, on my to-do list is some salads in a jar that I made two weeks ago that need to be dealt with. I ended up with some tummy issues and the last thing I wanted to do was throw a bunch of, you know, carnivorous, carnivorous, no, that's not right. The, you know, like Brussels sprouts and all of these veggies into my system. So they sat there and so, you know, it's got to be dealt with, but it is definitely a work in progress. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. So we have a lot of ways to do to do's. Mine literally is clean out the fridge or make an appointment at the DMV, but you might want to get more creative with a ta-da bingo or a regular bingo. You maybe want some needs or that Eisenhower made matrix. If you are feeling overwhelmed, it is definitely one that can help you prioritize what needs to be done now versus what might need to be done later. And that's over on the um, bottom right-hand side. That is that Eisenhower matrix. I'm going to go off camera and give you some time. If you're repurposing, let us know. Or if you got a big to-do, let us support you on that too. Okay, diving into the next section. I'm going to give you a little more time on this one. And so if you didn't finish those to-dos, feel free to flip back and forth between those two. We're digging into our habits or activities. Now, the biggest question, especially for newbies, are is like, why do you have one in the monthly and then again in the weekly? The monthly are things that you want to do every day or at least weekdays. And these are things that maybe you do once or twice a week um, or maybe even three times. I shared last week that I read a book and it said, if you do it three times a week, you have established a habit. And I'm definitely going with that frame of mind. Also over on actually both sides, these are from the Instagram. If you're looking for some habits, maybe that's inspiring you, or maybe you're feeling a little mm, about the habits that you have established or haven't established. And so understanding that growth is not linear. I will play some music and be back.
We're now moving on to page 47. So once again, I'm gonna give you some examples and then I'll give you time to break it down a little more. Um, quotes of the week, that's a fun way to repurpose. That meal plan definitely is one that gets repurposed the most. Um, their mind body look of putting down appointments like the yoga class they're gonna take, the massage, those types of things. Over on the right-hand side, I love that mini bingo of celebrating me. I don't know if they just need a little more fun in their life or maybe it was their birthday week. And then I also love that they are like me when I do my meal planning. I do it Monday through Friday and leave the weekends free because something's going to come up and we're going to end up with takeout or going out with a friend or something like that. So I can move one of those meals, one of those dinners to the weekend. Repurposing for affirmations. The mind body health plan became a um, cleaning plan and their shopping list became their Whoa. And if you notice, they're using a cream whiteout. That was the word I was looking for. And you can barely tell it's there. So pretty. Over here on the right-hand side, I'm so jealous of their coffee dates and going to the park. So you're yeah, throwing some stickers in there. I bet they're a school teacher with that. Over here, I can't read what they have at the top, but I think it may be their affirmations. But I really like how they've listed out the hikes that they're gonna do that week. Maybe they're training for a backpacking trip or something like that. And then they made time to relax, stretch, deep breath, tea on the porch. Those are all very little Julia habits that might be, they might resonate with you. And you definitely have permission to go easy. Over here, I'm very jealous of their meal plan. And then they're go ahead and listing their workouts over there on the right. I usually do that for mine as well. And then they're tracking their weight, but you could also track anything like your tranquility, anything like that. Our meal plan is the first one we're going to dig into. And I went to a workshop online through Ginger, which is an app with health coaches. I know that it's not available to everyone, but if you are a Kaiser Permanente um, member, it is available to you free. So I went to it and they gave me some journaling prompts and I thought I would throw these up here. If you are someone who wants to do some journaling in your um, meal planning section, some end of day questions, end of week, if that is better for you and why maybe you want to reflect. And then I love this. At the end of this day, take a few minutes to express gratitude for what the day has brought you. There is always something to be thankful for. A smile, sunshine, music, conversation, a good workout, whatever it may be, acknowledge it. So I'm going to give you some time to work in this meal plan section. Let us know if you're repurposing or if you have a fabulous recipe that is in your meal plan section.
Well, now you know what song's playing next. Okay, we are heading into the next section. In my screen, it has a little red dot and I don't know how to change that. Sorry, guys. So our mind body health plan is next. And I wanted to um, point out the energy drainers versus energy givers. So you might actually want to think about things that give you energy through your mind body health plan. This once again was on the Silk and Saunders Instagram page. And then this over here on the right hand side, I took a screenshot while I was attending that ginger um, work life balance. And I thought this was really smart. They talked about self soothe feels good in the short term versus self care that supports you in the long run. So I'm going to leave this up here as I give you some time to fill out your mind, hot, mind body health plan. And there's nothing wrong with self soothing, but we also want to be able to support ourselves, our future selves with things like meal planning or exercising or taking a walk. Cause that truly is what's going to make changes in our life. Okay, we are almost to the end of our setup this morning. So shopping list is our next section. We're going to do it in correspondence with the I am loving. So here's some examples of that shopping list of the way people have decided to repurpose it. Maybe you are learning a language on Duolingo or you're doing Wordle or Sudoku and you want to be able to keep that 
any of these ideas are awesome. And I will go back to the slide. That red dot's gonna make me crazy. I don't know what I hit. Um, I am loving this, the next section we're diving into. And then I wanted to tell you, love this on the right-hand side, but this is me to you, to everybody making progress that nobody else recognizes. I'm proud of you. And then also, you are the CEO of your life. Hire, fire, and promote accordingly. There are people in your life that do not serve you or things in your life that do not serve you. You are in charge. Make those changes. So I'm going to give you just a couple of minutes to be able to work on this section um, before we close out our Monday morning social. It went so fast today. Our time together is coming to a close. Ah, can't believe this is already over. I hope that you will consider sharing your pages in Sandra Club. That's where we get our examples from. When we go in and comment, I'm always taking screenshots that I will utilize during the next section. Sorry, apparently that's a reminder on my husband's computer saying that it is time for him to have a meeting. Ah. Okay, so... Please, 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 if you love Silk and Saunders, share it with a friend. We have a really some awesome merch that $10 can go to, coffee cup sweatshirts, or maybe another type of journal. And also, if you are unaware, you can upgrade to an annual subscription and save $110 a year. So you may want to consider if you have a little extra cash, a little windfall, that that could actually save you a lot of money in the long run. And don't forget to join us in the app. And also, Jen is going to be throwing that YouTube link into the chat there. Please save it. It is um, it is a um, non-searchable site. So hold on to it and make sure that you're able to 
get to it because there's over 500 socials there. I put my playlist in the chat. I'm so proud of you for making time today and we will see you next week. It's a bad idea, but how can I help myself? Been inside for most this year, and I thought a few drinks they might help. It's been a while, my dear, dealing with the cards life dealt. I'm still holding back these tears, when my friends are somewhere else. I pictured this year a little bit different. When did it February? A step in the bar, it hit me so hard. Oh, how can it be this heavy? Every song reminds me you're gone. I feel the lump form in my throat Cause I'm here alone Just dancing with my eyes closed